Chemists model chemical change using chemical equations. So in this video we're going to review how to write and balance chemical equations. And the guiding principle is the law of conservation of mass, which states that matter is conserved across a chemical change. And what that means is the number and type of atom on the right hand side equals the total number and type of atom on the left hand side of a chemical equation. Let's look at some examples. Carbon combines with oxygen to give carbon dioxide. In this case we can model using the space filling model to describe this particular chemical change. The black sphere is carbon and the red spheres are diatomic molecular elemental oxygen. And we see on the right hand side of the equation we have carbon dioxide. So we can read the words, we can observe for example coal burning and collect the carbon dioxide that's produced or we can do typically what a chemist does which is just write the balanced chemical change. So when a chemist sees C plus O2 gives CO2, the chemist is thinking this in her head. And that's the challenge, to come to see the symbols and think about a model that is best describing some observed chemical change. Here's another example. Sometimes when carbon combines with oxygen, it gives carbon monoxide. This happens when we have limited amounts of oxygen present. It just happens sometimes. This is called incomplete combustion whereas the previous example was complete combustion when a fuel burns in oxygen to give carbon dioxide. In this case we have um, a carbon atom, a carbon atom, oxygen, carbon monoxide, and carbon monoxide. Alright, and so we could model it, or the equation, it looks like this. So rather than write C plus C plus O2 gives CO plus CO, we put in front of the carbon atoms what's called a coefficient. And in this case, since there's two, we put two. And on this side, we put two. And what you find then is the left-hand side, the number and type of atoms, equals the number and types of atoms on the right-hand side. So we would call this particular chemical change balanced. The other thing is when we're interpreting this chemical change, we can interpret the uh, change as two atoms of carbon plus one molecule of oxygen gives two atoms, two molecules of carbon monoxide, or we can interpret it as two dozen atoms of carbon plus one dozen molecules of oxygen gives two dozen of carbon monoxide, but that doesn't do us much good. Typically, the way we interpret it is in terms of moles, and we'd say two moles of carbon, and that's just because the mole unit gets us up onto a macroscopic scale. We'll see more in other videos. Two moles of carbon monoxide. So we can interpret this as individuals or moles of atoms or molecules across a chemical change. Let's look at one more example. Nitrogen, in this case we see nitrogen plus oxygen yields nitrogen monoxide or nitrous oxide use words to describe what's going on. What I would say is that nitrogen combines with oxygen to yield nitrous oxide. That's the common name for NO. You could also call it nitrogen monoxide if you're not familiar with the common name. All right, if we wanted to model it, I could say, okay, I'm going to let a, a, an open sphere be my nitrogen and a closed sphere be my atom of oxygen. 
So I've got one molecule of nitrogen plus one molecule of oxygen giving me a molecule of nitrog nitrous oxide. And it's very clear that the number and type of atoms on the left-hand side, in this case, does not equal the number and type of atoms on the right-hand side. So we have to balance it. And to balance it, you just add the coefficient. You never add a subscript. Subscript changes the chemical uh, um, composition. You add a coefficient, a number in front of the molecule, to balance the reaction. In this case, we have two oxygens, but only, or excuse me, two nitrogens, but only one on this side. So if I put a two on the right-hand side, I now have two, and I could draw two since I'm drawing right now two molecules of nitrous oxide and then to write it correctly like a chemist would say nitrogen plus oxygen gives two nitrous oxide.